Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Louise and this is my very first YouTube video and so I hope you enjoy my video. It's all about my favourites of 2018. Now although I'm 39 I've only just recently got into makeup and so um, although I have got all these favourites that I'm wanting to talk to you about I haven't tried an awful lot of makeup. Um, I have got quite a lot of makeup though, so I will show you my collection that I have. Um, I've started collecting throughout 2018, um, but there's an awful lot of products there that I have still yet to use, and so um, they will be first impression videos a little bit later at a later date but yes today I would like to go through my favourites of 2018 all the products that I love using and that I reach for on a regular basis I'm going to um, do it in the sequence of how I would put these products on my face so starting with primer going all the way through the different categories to mascara so I will start with my primers. I have got three primers that I really liked using in 2018. The first one is the Benefit Professional. Now, when I went onto YouTube to do a little bit of research on different products that people were really liking, uh, people's favourites, this one was highly raved about and that it was a really nice primer. So I thought I must get that because it's supposed to minimise the appearance of pores and I've got quite a few pores on my uh, on my face, especially my nose, on my chin, on my forehead, all the areas where I get quite oily um, and so yes I thought I will try some pore professional out. Um, I did pop into Boots and I asked the lady at the benefit counter if I could try a little bit of professional. Now um, I did have makeup on at the time and she did say that she, you can put the professional on over the top of makeup as well to, to mattify your makeup and so I've also got a little, uh, a little sample of this which I keep in my bag um, so that when I'm on the go if I get a little bit shiny I can blot it off and then put a little bit of the professional on just to uh, keep that oil at bay. Now um, the next primer that I'd like to talk about is the NYX Pore Filler. Now this one I think is a dupe for the Benefit Pore Professional. It's a very similar consistency and so if you do like the Pore Professional and you want to try something that is a little bit cheaper then I would recommend that you try the NYX Pore Filler because it does very similar things to what the um, Pore Professional does. They both claim to fill your pores, smooth the skin and um, minimise the shine that, that you get when you've got oily skin. So yes, both of these primers I thought was really, really good. Now, uh, a primer that I have been using more recently is the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Matte Primer. Now, I got this primer uh, from Amazon and so I ordered it from Amazon and it was coming from America because there was no UK stockists of Wet and Wild at that time. Um, but more recently, I think Boots have started stocking it about a month ago. And so yes, you can get this primer from Boots now and I think it's £4.99. And so yes, I am, I'm nearly out of this primer so I will definitely be repurchasing some of this primer from Boots. And so yeah, I'm glad that I don't have to um, import it from America because I did have to wait for a couple of weeks for, for it to come through. Now the uh, next category that I would like to talk about is foundation. Again, when I was looking on YouTube, I um, I was really intrigued by this foundation because a lot of people said that it was a really good foundation and that it, um, it was long wearing. 
and that foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. Uh, if this is a medium to full coverage and I usually put a layer on using my beauty blender and um, yeah I tend to start putting a little bit more on, on any areas that I need a little bit more coverage. The only thing is with this foundation though is that it doesn't come with the pump so you've got to buy the foundation which I think is £33.50 and then you've got to pay £5.50 for the pump which I think is a bit ridiculous really so uh, when I repurchase my next bottle of double wear I will be reusing the pump um, but yes it's a really nice foundation it's just a pity that it doesn't come with the pump the next category that I would like to talk about is powder so after I've put my foundation on I like to set it all with a little bit of powder and this powder was again raved about by my youtubers saying that it was a really really nice powder and that powder is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. It's uh, really cheap as well. I think it's something like £3.99. I got the um, shade 001 Transparent. Oh, and the Estee Lauder Foundation. I am in shade 2C2 Pale Almond. Now, when I went to the... Um, when I went to boots to uh, get myself colour matched they did say to me that I was matched with pebble but the lady said that she thought that my skin was a little bit more um, paler than the colour pebble and so yeah she said that she would go with the uh, pale almond and so yes I went with the pale almond shade so yes back to powder um, yes, I put a little bit of powder on all over my face just to set all my makeup and then I tend to put a little bit extra on my T-zone just to try and control that shine because I have got oily skin. Um, and the next category that I would like to talk about is bronzer. Now, um, I'm a little bit scared of bronzer. <laughs> I, um, I've only just started using a little bit of bronzer so when I first started wearing makeup I didn't wear bronzer at all um, and then I had a card from my number seven advent calendar from 2017 and so I went into Boots and I asked the lady at the counter to uh, to check what colour she thought that I should use and so she colour matched me and she said that she thought that this colour would be good for contouring my face so this colour is caramel and I use a little bit of bronzer just to uh, warm up my uh, my face I put a little bit on the top of my forehead just to make this forehead a little bit less big because <laughs> it is quite a big forehead and so yes I'd, uh, I put a little bit of bronzer on the top of my forehead and I put a little bit also just to define these cheekbones I haven't really got much cheekbones but uh, yes they definitely need to define in but like I say I'm scared of bronzer I think you can go terribly wrong with bronzer and uh, I don't want to look like I've got lines down my face and so I tend to go very light-handed with my bronzer but um, yes, I, um, I would like to try another bronzer. There's, a, um, there's another bronzer that YouTubers all rave about, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So I have actually got it in my Amazon basket at the moment and I'm contemplating purchasing that bronzer and maybe I will upload a video later on about my thoughts and my first impressions of using the uh, butter bronzer. But uh, yes, my next category that I would like to talk about is blusher. And um, again, 
YouTubers were saying that they really liked this palette. The Sweet Cheeks Blusher Palette from NYX. It's got eight different shades in there. Now, uh, I tend to use this colour and this colour quite a lot. Um, I think I've steered clear of this really dark colour. Um, but I do like all the other colours and sometimes I, uh, I mix and match and put a couple of colours on my cheeks. But yes, I think it's really good value for money because you get eight blushes and uh, yeah, it's a really nice palette. Um, and more recently, I got a Benefit blusher in my birch box and um, you could choose between two different blushes and I chose the California. It's a nice pink shade, it's what I'm wearing now. Uh, but I think it's a really pretty blusher and uh, yeah, I tend to use this on a more regular basis now. I do still really like my NYX uh, Sweet Cheeks palette, but yes, I have been reaching for my Benefit blusher now on a more regular basis and I might have to purchase this in a uh, the full size because it is really, really nice. So uh, the next category that I'd like to talk about are eyeshadows. Now I have got an awful lot of eyeshadow palettes and the ones that I tend to reach for, maybe because they are a little bit on the smaller side and so they, uh, they are kept with all my makeup in the bathroom which is where I usually put my makeup on, is these Wet and Wild Colour Icon palettes. These are my favourite palettes of all time. I use them on a on a daily basis and I get some really nice comments about my eyeshadow when I'm wearing these palettes. Um, well, not when I'm wearing the palettes, but when I'm wearing the eyeshadows in the palettes. So this one is a um, not a basic peach. And um, so yeah, the this one I would say is my favourite. This gold, this gold colour is what I'm wearing now on my eyes and I've also hit pan on this shade and um, I really like how it's got transition shades as well and that they're actually, they do actually say transition on them just so that you know that that is a transition shade. Now uh, going back just over a year ago I'd never heard of a transition shade before and so yes I've learned a lot from looking at YouTube and, and watching people's get ready with me videos and so yeah I, I'm very passionate about putting makeup on and, and I spend a lot of time on YouTube watching people put makeup on um, and so uh, this one is Rosé in the Air which again is a really nice palette I think it's it's really really lovely it's got some really nice colours again a couple of transition shades I, um, I tend to go for this shade quite a lot and I'm um, I'm starting to use a little bit more more dark colours as, as I'm starting to experiment a little bit with my eyeshadows and so I've started to use the oranges and the um, the purples, this purple colour is absolutely lovely and um, I quite like this purple shimmery colour as well. There's some really, really nice colours in the two palettes and uh, yeah, they are my favourites. The only thing is, like I said earlier, boots are now stocking wet and wild and so you can get the rosé in the air palette from Boots which I think these are 5 99 from Boots but the not a basic peach they're not doing it in Boots and so I think I would have to have this imported from America if I was wanting to purchase this again and I think I might because I love the palette so much it is it's definitely my favourite palette and like I say I've had a few comments from people saying like your eyeshadow and it's when I've been using this on my eyes when I've had the uh, the comments 
And so yes, really, really nice palettes. Highly recommend these palettes. So the next category that I would like to talk about is lipsticks. So um, all of these lip products are Clinique. I do, I, I've got an awful lot of different lipsticks. Um, as you can probably see in the um, in my collection of 2018, um, I really like the Clinique pop colours, um, and so these are um, I've got Love Pop, which is the darkest shade. Then I've got Plum Pop which is a little bit lighter than the uh, Love Pop. I've got the Nude Pop, which is what I'm wearing now. It is a um, your lips but nicer type of colour. And then I have got a, uh, is that blushing? Yes, blushing pop as well. Now I think you can get these in like 27 shades. And so yeah, they do do an awful lot of shades in the Clinique Pop lipsticks. But yeah, I, I really like the Clinique Pops. Um, another Clinique Pop that I really like is the Clinique Lip Gloss. So if I am wanting to use lip gloss instead of lipstick, then I tend to reach for my tiny little Clinique Pop. I think I got this free when I purchased two full size products and it was part of a um, a bag of six items and it was something that you could actually choose and so I chose the uh, little lip gloss and yes I've liked using it it looks like I could do with repurchasing this this colour is Sorbe and so uh, yeah really nice nude lipstick well lip lip gloss and the last lip product is a Clinique chubby stick I got this in my Clinique advent calendar and it is in the shade 07 super strawberry and it's a lovely shade and so uh, yeah I found that I have been using this quite regularly as well and so yeah I really like the Clinique formulas I think the the lipsticks are, are really nice I also really like their um, skincare as well I do use the moisture surge um, as my moisturizer and I've got quite a few different Clinique products I do like Clinique so um, the next category that I would like to talk about is mascara and the first mascara that I would like to talk about is the Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance Mascara. I got this, I think, I first got it in February last year when I did a Feel Unique haul and I think they are £22 full price and I got this for £10 and it included a lip oil as well and so yeah, it's, it was a really good bargain, I love my bargains and so that's that's the wand and it's got it's nice and thin and it's got a little curve to it as well um, I have got really really um, small eyelashes and so um, I like mine quite natural anyway so I only put one layer of mascara on my eyelashes but this separates my eyelashes really really well and just coats them in black so that you can actually see them um, and so yes I like a natural um, lash but you can build this up I only put one coat on and so yeah you can put a few coats on and uh, get the dramatic effect that if you prefer something a little bit more dramatic it can still do dramatic lashes so the second mascara that I'm wanting to talk about is the L'Oreal Paradise mascara um, this I got in a gift set with a eyeshadow palette and um, the Paradise mascara is something that I've been wanting to try because a few youtubers had said how nice 
the mascara was and that they really liked it so I thought right I will get that and I love eyeshadow palettes as well and so I got the eyeshadow palette but yes the mascara is really really nice I will show you the wand so that is the wand it's a bit thicker than the grand entrance mascara but again it separates your lashes and it makes them look really really nice again you can build this up um, that's my dogs so yes That's my little dog is barking in the background, wanting to go outside. There, they've gone out. So yes, that concludes my video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I, um, I really enjoyed putting this together. I hope you really enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you think that you liked this video and would like to see my videos again the types of videos that i would like to do are things like favorites um about first impressions because i've got a lot of things that i need to to try out and see if i like them um also my glossy box unboxings and um i might even go back to birchbox because i used to subscribe to Birchbox and I swapped it to Glossybox just to see what Glossybox was like but I might get the Birchbox as well um, so yes I'd like to do the unboxings uh, feel unique pick and mix I get those on a monthly basis as well uh, Primark hauls that sort of thing so if that's the sort of thing that you would like to see then please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button and you'll be notified of when I update my channel and um, upload another video. So uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Alright then, thank you. Bye!